This episode is sponsored by AwesomeDrinks.com. This month, I turned 38, so save 15% using coupon code GREATIN38. Welcome to Call of Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Shaw. I'm the Ian Andrews, and we're making a drink called the Alien Piss. Which is why we're oh, using the Alien Piss colored shaker. Appetizing. Wouldn't Alien Piss be green? Now you're going to use the purple. That's as close as you got, right? We used a lot of purple already. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have Where a green was I? one. <laughs> you were uh, there. You're just there. We just did it. So we that got just happened. <laughs> Half ounce of light <laughs> rum. That's Wait, from no. Talladega Nights, the ballad of Ricky Bobby. Okay. How do you like that? That just happened. <laughs> so Ian would be Wallowitz. Yeah. <laughs> what? An ounce and a half of light rum. He's too tall to be Wallowitz. <laughs> An yeah. ounce and a half of vodka. Yeah. Two ounces of Midori. Yeah. Two and a half ounces of pineapple juice. I don't know which one is one. An ounce of co- orange, orange juice. juice. An ounce of coconut water. An ounce water. of orange juice. Oh! Concentrate. Natural why? hydration. It's why? good stuff. But why is this? Why is it ripped for your pleasure? First off, secondly, why is this? Those Mexicans are crazy like that. <laughs> Allergy advice contains sulfur hydroxide. That's not ripped for your pleasure. That's ripped for your grippability. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's not very pleasurable. I grip that too strong. How about we'll we leave that like that and we'll just so go. Strong I don't know you. what's. <laughs> well, what's going to do that? It's still open. <laughs> so <with> that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. It's good, oh. right? It's not as sweet as you'd think, right? I know, I know. I'm not used to it, but it tastes like somebody took a poop in there. It's no, I was not prepared for the water slash chunks. Yes, chunks. That's how you know it's real. It's got eighty percent hugo in it. Eighty percent chunks. Hugo. Um, why is this in another language? Obviously, it's Goya. It's Goya. Well, I bet the it's English Spanish. is right there. Holy With pulp. Shit. Really? Yeah, see how it says with pulp? They've lined them all on the <laughs> shelf backwards then. <laughs> well, maybe they're not trying to appeal to the English you speaking. Went to... You are in English speaking territory! You went... But it's Goya. Yeah, you went to the international aisle. No, I didn't. I went to the aisle that has. Goya, Goya? is the international aisle. No, not at Demoulos, it's not. Don't argue. At Demoulos, it's in the aisle that has cocktail stuff. It was next to the really? cream soda. Really? They don't know what they're doing at Demoulos. Yeah, they don't have to tell you. That's why I don't at, show up there. At, at Hannaford's, it's in the right aisle. I know. It's in the no, international no. aisle. <laughs> Damn it, Jen. Reicht. Links. Whatever. Reicht aisle. I can't say Reicht. Right. Reicht? Cat, that makes Cat, Cat was always correcting me on how to say right. I can't say it right in German. Or Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen? Eichhörnchen. I couldn't. I don't know what you're saying. Eichhörnchen. It's squirrel. Then, what does that have to do with anything? It's hard to say. We don't oh, have oh, to do Squirrel is hard to say in English. Too. Why is it that that rodent ends up with such really free and weird ass names? Poor squirrels. We should have called them into the stick. <laughs> we should call them life. Did you use the um, coconut water? Saving it best for last. Now, did you follow the ingredients, which say not to put that in yet, or the soda? It's everything but that. Okay. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. I'm glad someone's paying attention. <laughs> You, you know what we need next? Hey and Jennifer, the is there a, a like a big ass highball glass over there? A glass is an awesome idea. Yeah. Or oh, there's also we should totally use a glass. Totes. Uh, I need something that's kind of epic. Yeah, there's That's exactly what I wanted. No, I don't want something that big. <laughs> Actually, we need something that big. No, that's ultimate. This is that big. This big. That's perfect. I know. But the big ass, the one we used for the passion, or what, that was abstruse, abstruse yeah, losing. Abstruse losing, yeah. That thing was awesome. The pass out cocktail. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. There you go. Passion. We should make that next time we go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Pass out cocktail. Tales we'll of the cocktail. Next time we go someplace. Yeah, we got to plan that after this. Yes. Looks like Alien Days. Piss to me. Like that long pour. Save How's some that? space. Long pour. That's a good long, long pour. Longshoreman. How, how long is longshoreman? Put that in there. Long We're going to do a splash. Line. That's all the coconut we get? Yeah, though. It's a oh. subtle flavor. That whole thing, and we're going to add just that much coconut. You're like, no. Does that taste like a tin can? No. Should it? It's, it's just yeah, freshly it's open. Nope. No, it tastes like water with coconut in it. Yep. Very coconutty. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that. I'm going to damage my palate. You're an idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I can't, I can't go to Fight Club with this shirt until I wash it now. I don't want to smell like alcohol Fight Club. 
Why? You might just smell like alien piss. I might. There's no there's no alcohol in Fight Club. It's not alcohol. It's alien piss. <laughs> it only smells like alcohol because they're mostly ammonia. <laughs> oh, God. Good? Everything's good with Midori. Yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, but you drink from the bottom. That shit needs to be stirred. That's pretty good. Bitches. Well, you know what? Now that we know there's enough room. I'm finishing my long pour, bitches. <laughs> I can. Now we're gonna need to top it again. We should. Just because I have a lot of, of coconut of water. Coconut water. I didn't spill it once. Are you trying? Oh, there we go. <laughs> he was waiting. I'm not gonna stop until it's spilled. <laughs> well, Ian, you got some nice head going on there. Thanks for that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for telling everybody out there. <laughs> I've made an alien I like it. It's cut. I'm going out on a limb and saying I didn't like it. Nash wants to know if you ever finished a show with a clean shirt. I have. I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> At some point in just time. Just not in the last couple months. <laughs> He's just spraying shit on his nipples now. Um, this is potent. Derek likes to lick it off when the camera's not around. <laughs> yeah. I do that all the time. Yeah, all the time. This is an potent drink. It is. It's really good. There's, it's it's mostly rum and vodka. As far as the, it's like three ounces of rum and vodka. Captain, didn't use yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, Captain yeah. White. Captain's in there. Captain White. Hmm. But it's not in the living room with the chainsaw. It's probably 50-50 alcohol and non-alcohol as far as like. Content. It's like 80-20 taste of alcohol though. There's, mm. For Midori, there's a lot of yeah flavorful Stuffed alcohol in here. I see the pulp from the coconut water. Coconut water. Tastes better on the top. But that's what she said. Because you just poured Sprite in there. Yeah, but I stirred it in a little bit. The bottom is strong. What's it taste like? Coconut? Yeah, I get the coconut, actually. Alcohol. I don't really get a lot of orange juice or pineapple. I get the Midori. Mm -hmm. I get the pineapple a little bit. Ho, 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 ho! Ho, 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 ho! That's right! What? Down to! My nipple still hurts from the last one. Here, let me eat it up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I think it's three before anything happened. You know what I just started watching over again? Speaking of nipples? <laughs> Speaking of nipples. Star Trek nipples. the original generation. Star Trek the nipple generation. Because you can see the nipples through the... Dude, the women in Star Trek, the original series, mm. they're always Lots dressed in no half bras. their clothes. A lot of yeah. no bras. Um, and, and you know what? This is kind of weird, but... Um, so you I have them all it. on DVD. I have them on Netflix. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> it's just free. Well, 70 bucks a month. The what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't funny. Again. I just pulled a gin. No, you you have to empty. <laughs> he almost did. Yeah. It's coming on my nose as we speak. It's weird how ugly does that. Right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. She just blew two hemorrhoids. Oh. Um, <coughs> what did you do? Drink? Did you inhale it? Yep. Awesome. So <laughs> the the bonus of the, you know it stings the nostrils. It's better than when you when you spill stuff <laughs> all over you. It's like Black Panther. Right. It stings the nostrils. What, I, okay. Totally. Oh. That's, that's an Anchorman quote. The the uh, oh, people well, they'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. I was looking when I was watching the show. Like you see all these women in half their clothes, right? And they're got to be what in their twenties. And they're green. And the ha most of them are dead. Like either like they're just old. Like you, now dead. Yeah, you look at them yeah. online and like you image they Google. Show, I'm like, like these women in I never got the necrophilia dead. undertones. <laughs> no, no, no. no, like they it's, <laughs> it's no clothes. That's a weird ass been a while and some of them have grown older. <laughs> and they're like they don't make a lot of them die from it seems like everybody on the show dies from cancer. Like I I would watch them like Wikipedia. It's all the or space radiation. And I, and I start, yeah, that's true. I guess. And, uh, it's like fake space radiation. That makes sense, right? It, it's just weird. Like when you watch old shows, uh, and you start looking for. Them and, well, when you film in outer space, I mean, they weren't prepared for it back then. No. Yeah. Nowadays, it'd be different because they have better suits. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, does it taste any better when you aspirate it? <laughs> we can breathe it. Out. <laughs> oh, it's been aspirated. Oh, I think it's in my eyes. <laughs> You got it in my eye. Ah, that's from, nice. From behind the eyeball. It was weird. <laughs> it's strange just, sensation. That's talent right there. It's a little bit easier to drink as you drink more. Mm. But it, Alcohol it, goes like that. That's why bartenders... It, like, if you go to a bar a lot, which you do, 
Ooh, I worked at a bar for years. Oh, that's true. You I know, some people start complaining about weak drinks later in the night. It's not that the drinks got any weaker. You it's just, that you got a little bit number to the alcohol. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So bartenders, when they when people start complaining about weak drinks, yeah. the bartender starts thinking, this person might have had too much. So oh. don't complain about weak drinks because you might be close to getting cut off if you do that. Ah, tip for the viewers. How to get more drunk. There you go. If you don't, just, if you want to get under the radar. You know, I'm dropping some knowledge. That's what I do. Give you a little 411 on the you bartender. You should always situation. learn something in every video. And I think and I you just know what? Something. Never piss off your bartender, especially if you see a little dropper of Visine by the bar. Oh, you don't That's not for your their eyes. You know? That's for the assholes who piss them off. I thought it was going to say they mermaided it on you. No, if you, you, you don't put piss a off your either. couple drops of Visine in a drink, you'll be puking. Yeah. Well, they put, uh, you know what? I'd rather have that than let some guy put his penis in it. Or spit in it. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I'd rather throw up than have somebody spit in my drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. What? 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 Two, two. I just want to pour this all over my body. No, that would be bad. Uh oh. Is that sure? What's the help? You, you need us to leave? <laughs> <laughs> what well, would Wait be the point? Ian wants to help. And if, I don't if, help if everybody helps, then if everybody helps, that's one thing. If everybody leaves, that's just weird for me. That was. I think that was DMV fan. No. Yeah, I think so. Good so job. you like this one, huh? I like that one. Huh? I, I, you? It's good. It's not my favorite. Mm. Um, it's, it's not bad though. Kind of awkward. You know what the? It's awkward. I'm not sure about the the an awkward drink. Coconut yeah. water. Mm. I like. You know what it is? Coconut water. Like you said, it's not sweet, right? Mm. Malibu would make this sweeter. I would assume when I hear Midorian drink, boom, it's going to sweet up the ass. Oh, you think? Yeah. You know, you're not getting a lot of that. And I'm. And then you bring in pineapple juice <laughs> and orange juice, and that usually even adds more sweetness. This is not a sweet drink. Mm -mm. It's not. I mean, it's kind of neutral. It's it's not sweet. It's not sour, but it's also but it's kind of potency. So it's got the strength against the sweetness, and the strength is winning out a little bit. That's yeah. it. This submitted. By it's got a decent balance to it. Who knows who submitted this? Because Derek didn't write it down. But you're in the credits. I put but it. But you know because you, you know. submitted it. Right. If you submitted, you know who. You I are. I was rushing, but the the alien pitch was chat room? submitted by beep. Uh, what? Huh? If they're in the chat no, room. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's true. But if, on the recipe card at the end, I put the submitted by. Yes, you do. You know, so it'll be. Which there. means you're gonna have to look it up. You'll get credit. That's it. We're done. EverydayDrinkers.com. Patreon.com slash CMC. If you want to donate to the show, recipe at EverydayDrinkers.com. Oh, Submit your recipes. That is a big-ass highball glass. With a Common Man Cocktails logo no, on it. That's, that's just mine. Oh, that's I yours. I don't, okay. That's, on it. that's like two, two it's decades. It's got an erectile over. dysfunction sign on it, too. ED. EDD. Yeah. No, that's an older one. That was, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I've never made that. Um, that was from my Eric. Sent those over. Oh, okay. But I like the glass so much I started stocking them. The glass is That really nice. is your big ass eyeball <laughs> glass. That's a great glass. It's just, I could definitely see drinking some Jen Collins type drinks yep. in that. And I also drink iced tea in there. Because you could have a lot of iced tea that way. I could have a lot of iced tea in one and of squeeze those. Them right. <laughs> That's what iced I would tea. drink my iced tea out of. Oh. I drink iced tea by the. Unsweet? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say you'd be like. Yeah, if I, if I go out to like a, a restaurant or something, it's usually unsweetened iced tea. Yeah, that's what I get. They know it. All my regular places, that's what I don't even have to ask. They just pour me on a sweet iced tea when I go there. You go there way too regular. Because I don't really drink outside of here. I, irony! Right? Right. EverydayDrinkers.com. Tisha, I drink. That's recording. <laughs> <laughs>